We're here at CES 2017, and I'm joined by our good friend, Wilfred Van Balen from Aura Technologies, to talk about what's happening this year in terms of Aura. So, Wilfred, when we met you last year, you were just moving into the automotive market. Yeah. How has that developed in 2016 and into this year? Yeah, a big momentum, of course, yeah, because this is the first time ever a full immersive sound system in a car with Aura 3D. Yeah? And uh, it's together with the Burmester system in a Porsche. So the top brand Porsche has chosen for our technology, and the feedback in the market is huge. Uh, the journalists are not saying this is just the best sound ever in a car, but as well a new driving experience. And that's amazing. Just And it is true. It creates a completely different feel when you drive a car, having, let's say, that more space in the car, that different feel. As you know, when you hear more, you feel more. Yeah, And that's exactly what's happening with this new experience in a car. So what are the benefits of trying to listen to music in a car with an immersive audio system as opposed to just having two speakers or maybe four speakers in the car? It, in fact, it creates more space and it's more relaxing. Yeah? It's not that you're going to fall asleep, it's the opposite. It creates more, it feels like more air in the car. It is really another, it is a different emotional experience. And a lot of people listen music in a car, so it is really a very good place to have the R3D system in it. And together in a Porsche with the Bootmaster system, it sounds awesome. In terms of the practicality then, where are the speakers actually positioned inside the car? Uh, the speakers are, let's say, in um, height as well. So they, we have, let's say, typically for Auro, you know, that vertical stereo field all around, that's now in the car as well. So we have the ear level speakers and we have those height layer, yeah? And exactly where the, normally the height layer with Auro is positioned, because that's f still the crux, yeah, of the immersive sound system, because when the angle is too big, it does not sound coherent anymore. And anyway, in a car, it would be difficult because what are you going to do with a convertible if the sound, <laughs> if the speakers are hanging above your head? That wouldn't work, yeah? Okay. I also understand that you're now moving into the mobile market. Yes. Um, um, how is that being established? Oh, that's again a big step. Just in, in less than two months' time, we sold more than 1.2 million smartphones already on the market, yeah? And uh, that's with our aromatic technology inside, which creates from every stereo or mono song, yeah, a completely immersive sound experience in Auro. And uh, again, read the feedback on social media. It's fantastic. People said this, wow, this is the most relaxing way to listen to music. When I do sports, when I'm in, in, in every, every way, when I listen to music, it gives it more that spatial and more relaxing experience. When you mention mobile phones, are they specific mobile phones? <laughs> Uh, at this moment, we have Micromax in India, that's the number two brand in India, by the way, and as well Vico. Vico is the first one. There are many more coming, but I cannot announce it still yet, but there's a lot of big news. But anyway, perhaps you've seen the press release, RDA, one of the biggest uh, chip manufacturers, um, uh, Intel invested like 1.2 billion two years ago in that company, yeah? and uh, they have chosen now to implement our technology in their chips. They make like about 5 million chips every month. Um, in terms of the uh, mobile, is it actually an app or is it actually built into the phone? It is built in the phone, yeah, and that has a reason because, let's say, typically the, the video codecs and the audio codecs are in the, in, let's say, in the middleware, yeah. That has a reason because if, let's say, the automatic is on all the time and a phone comes in, then you would hear the phone call as well in 3D sound and perhaps that's not what you need, yeah. <laughs> so, let's say, it's, it, it guides, let's say, the whole GUI, yeah, that's, uh, let's say, that software, that part is in the phone itself, yeah. So, for that reason, it's in the Okay. And now obviously Aura started uh, uh, in the cinema, yes. so what are the latest developments in terms of Aura 3D in the cinemas field? Oh wow, it's expanding there as well. Uh, we have in the meantime, together with our partner Barco, we have uh, 650 uh, worldwide theatres already, uh, worldwide over the globe installed, yeah, uh, or committed, and then uh, we have more than 40 post-production facilities in the meantime, more than 20 universities, yeah. Uh, music studios are coming a lot, yeah. And in content, we are we are in the meantime we capped the 200 movies, so we are both 200 movies, international movies now. So that's growing much faster than 5.1 ever did. What are the latest developments in terms of enjoying Aura 3D in the home? Uh, in home, we have, uh, let's say, we have a lot of new AV receivers coming on the market. Yeah, we have in the meantime more than 20 different uh, models on the market. Yeah, and as well, uh, we launched here and we received an award, a special award for the best AV receiver of the CES 2017. Yeah, for the brand, for that's the high-end brand with Storm Audio, our own brand, and uh, it's really an, a, an, a groundbreaking new milestone as well. Uh, as you know, we de uh, we delivered here at CES four years ago the first ever full 3D AV receiver in history, yeah? and uh, this is then the su the succeeder, which is in fact uh, again a new milestone. So, uh, if you've got the receiver, what kind of content can you listen to for movies at home? 
Uh, there's a big deal that you heard probably from uh, Sony Pictures. Yeah, Sony Pictures launched now, uh, made a press release about the fact that they are going to release now the movies as well on Blu-ray disc in, in Auto 3D. You've seen already the last, uh, the first one was Pixels, Ghostbusters, and there are a lot of coming there, but it's not the only studio. There are more studios coming at this moment. Yeah, So there's a lot of movie uh, content coming for international Hollywood, but as well more local. In China, China, we have already a few from these blockbusters in the market in India as well. So more and more, let's say there will be more movie content coming, but especially music is fantastic. Yeah, uh, the music industry is choosing for Auro for four reasons. Yeah, first of all, it's about the most natural immersive experience. Auro 3D is known to create that more natural sound. Yeah, compared to the other uh, other uh, let's say for immersive sound formats on the market. Secondly, um, we let's say we. We, with our technology and the way the speakers are, yeah, we can create exactly the same immersive experience as intended by the creators. So that that preservation of the artistic intent that's very important, yeah. So that brings, let's say, the listener closer as well to the to let's say the goals and uh, the, the the emotional intent from the from the creators, yeah. Third, uh, our format can do as well high resolution audio. Yeah, uh, we can do 96 kilohertz. That's not possible with the competitor's format. So we can do uh, full high resolution audio, which is in music becoming a standard now. Yeah, and last but not least, it sounds perhaps not that important, but is very important in music. You have in the workflow recording, mixing, and mastering. Mastering is that part of the process where we do that final, uh, let's say, that final compressing, EQing, let's say, create that final gloss of the sound so that the sound comes more out of the speakers. Yeah, That process cannot be done with the competitor's format. That can only be done with our format. So it's a very obvious choice uh, for sound in 3D that people go for Auto 3D. Yeah, um, in terms of music, how can you um, consume it? So there's, is it a disc? Is it streaming? Is it download? Oh, that's a good other thing. We announce here our streaming technology. Yeah, so um, uh, let's say what is um, uh, unique to our format. We can deliver in existing formats like 5.1, the full Auto 3D, uh, let's say carrier. Yeah, without the need of any extra bandwidth. Yeah, uh, that's unique. Yeah, compared to the others as well. If it is in 48 or 96 kilohertz, so we do not need extra bandwidth compared to the 5.1. But in streaming, we can we found the technology to bring the same high resolution audio in even less bandwidth. But then we can go, of course, to an uh, to a bit stream, while in the other one we can do it in existing uncompressed audio. Yeah, and we uh, launched here our CX. That's our algorithm. What we can do streaming. So we can have on your mobile phone. You can have now streaming live 3D audio. There's one area where immersion is, is very important, it's video gaming. So what's happening in the video gaming space? There as well as a big announcement from Namco Bandai. Yeah? Namco Bandai, they bring this summer the, the game Get Even in Auto 3D. Yeah? You've seen probably the, uh, the announcement as well from Microsoft uh, last month. Yeah? They announced Xbox uh, will have Auto 3D sound yeah? and there will more people coming in, there will more content coming as well, following that same direction to have Auto 3D installed everywhere. So I'm very happy because I see now in all those markets, you were just mentioning very well in all those markets and you see it moving forward very fast. Yeah. So uh, that makes me very happy because that was always the goal of the format to bring everywhere as, let's say, as intended by the creation uh, creators, that same immersive sound experience. One final question, new in gaming is uh, virtual reality, yes. where clearly, clearly immersion would be absolutely vital to creating that, that experience of being somewhere completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, any plans to introduce Oro in terms of um, VR? You are very fast, Steve. <laughs> uh, we are working, of course, I think we have the most, um, the most, let's say, advanced technology about VR, but we are not there yet. Yeah. Um, I heard what I heard so far is not convincing enough for me. Yeah. Um, and uh, we are, by the way, we are producing with my my other company, yeah, with Silvermere and Galaxy Studios. We are co-producing the first narrative Hollywood movie in VR. And that's a very amazing experience. We did the recordings with completely new techniques to record and reproduce it for VR. And it's the best I heard so far in VR. So. That's something which you're going to hear more about in this, in, uh, let's say, in the course of this year. Sounds very exciting. Wilfred, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you. Thank you, and for all the listeners. Thank you.